Hello, and welcome back to the playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. When we left off, Link had gone unconscious, Princess Zelda had vanished, and then Link appears here to be waking up with a new arm. This is not where he was when last he was awake. Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Link doesn't know this voice. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. So it's a very mysterious place to wake up in. Very unusual surroundings, but it is safe. Though very unusual. We can collect the Master Sword here. It is not looking good for the sword. It says that its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom that is the evil power beneath Hyrule Castle from the enemy Ganondorf. But fortunately, we can keep it with us and we can still use it to take a swipe at these vines. And this is a place Link has never seen before. I love the new glowing effects. So, that appears to be a travel gate on the floor that's blue. And the activation screen is green. So this isn't the normal Sheikah technology that he knew before in Breath of the Wild. This place is far older than anything that Link has seen before. All of this has been long abandoned. The controls are very much the same as they were in Breath of the Wild so far. So it appears that where we are underground, there's a lot of trees above us. The message says landing in water even from a great height will prevent you from taking fall damage. And here is our first chest. It gives us the archaic legwear. It's simple. Classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. And we can use the controls to access an inventory of clothing. So I'm going to do that now. It is not much. Ah, uh, poor Link. 
but at least the leg wear is better than nothing. Let's get outside. See where we are. Holy cow. We are very high in the sky. And this place may be the pinnacle, the very top of something. Oh my. There is nothing holding this clump of rocks up in the sky. The new music sent chills down my spine the first time I heard it. It's gorgeous. You've been swimming a long time. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> oh, that's strange. If your stamina wheel runs out, you'll be too tired for certain actions until it fills up again. And they brought us to shore. It just cost us one heart. There is a tree branch here. One should never go alone. We can use this if we have to hit anything that attacks us. Seems fairly secluded. And there's a mushroom. Not very filling, but it'll do more than nothing. I do see something mysterious over there. Wait, he sees me. Oh, he's trying to take a swipe at me. Ah, I've been trying to do the backflip on the control. Why don't you want to work? There we go. We'll take his stick. How do you like those odds? Soldier construct horn. It's a bladed-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp. So handle it with care. And then we got Zonai Charge. A material used as a power source for constructs and to other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Oh, and we got an apple tree. Apples, we know all about those. Huck. 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 
There we go. What is this? Seems man-made. Wooden stick. A little bit more powerful than the tree branch. Look at this wonderful place. We're in the clouds. Very high in the sky. That's where we came from, back up there, up those stairs. It looks like this building is fallen to pieces. I'd like to drop the tree branch that I've already used. Grab this newer one that's not about to break. All these islands in the sky. Birds find this a safe place, that's good. And there's a dragon. Huh. The cloud just dissipated when the dragon got to it. Can't tell which one. Link, I have waited for you. It's a steward construct. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. It looks like her Sheikah Slate. This is the Pura Pad. I am told that it's an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. That's the back of it. Oh, the front is a Nintendo Switch. And Link has the Pura Pad. And that makes everything nice. Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Link asks, where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held here. But no more. It is a lonely place. No one visits. Okay, we have another green light switch. Looks like it may have been left here for Link to discover. And it is building a bridge for us. So we should probably cross it. But I want to just take a look, make sure... Yes, we've covered everything there is to see over here. Stone sure seems secure. Alright, there's another floating island below. Mm, this looks like one of those steward constructs, but it looks like it broke down a long time ago. Inside it had a Zonai charge. We'll find out what those are for later. Looks like the land over there is covered in snow. Got some more apples. Those will be good later. Ooh, looks like I made him jump. Sorry there, buddy. 
Hello, you seem to be new here. So this is not the same construct we talked to a moment ago. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. So soldier constructs, what are those? They're those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Okay, so the stewards like this one are just going to give us instructions on how to play the game. Nothing in the pot. Sometimes they'll have something handy in them. Sometimes they don't. Look, it looks like we got another good stick. So we can review what we have collected so far. Not much we can do with anything right now, but we definitely want to hold on to the most powerful wood sticks. And there's nowhere else to go. So the only way further is below. So we will have to dive. And fortunately, there's another pond to dive into. And what we want to get to today is the Temple of Time. That upside down looking building. You know, using the Pura Pad, I bet we could zoom in on the dragon. Huh. She's a beauty. Very large. Don't recognize her. Can I get the frog? Hot-footed frog. Thank you. We'll brew up an elixir later with it. Looks like we have another unfriendly ahead of us. I wonder, could I actually attack him and get him to go into the water? Kind of cheating. I can't spin my arms around like that. Don't need so many tree branches if we're going to get better sticks. So we do want to travel to where the glowing, pinging, yellow dot is on the mini-map in the bottom right corner. Since that is our objective. To find Princess Zelda at the Temple of Time. Of course this doesn't look at all like the Temple of Time we knew from Breath of the Wild. Oh. So we got some new enemies here. More than one. Should eat something so that we don't die. Not used to their attacks yet. Long stick. Not as strong as the smaller stick, but puts more distance between us and them. Of 
I have to use a stick. I like one that puts more distance between us and an enemy. And we should eat. Looks like we have a friendly construct again. We got mushrooms. And some more apples. The good news is, is I remember how to play from the last game. This construct is going to teach us how to roast our foods for extra nutrition. So I will just collect these in my hands and set them down by the fire. Let them get nice and steamy and then fiery and then roasted. Now when we eat the roasted ones, they will provide us with more health. Looks like the bridge that connects this to the stairs is out. We are in the clouds. And it looks like the stairs caved some more. This place has been here a very long time. Ah. That got him to drop his shield. <laughs> and he dropped his rusty sword. A rusty broadsword, but the attack value is higher than our sticks. No one's around. And we have another green switch. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Raru, source of the right arm. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island?
The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. Well, Ravru is a fascinating character. The closed door is now a part of our main quest. We can see what that is on the parapet, I'm sure. Yep. So the closed door here at the Temple of Time, it says that when you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Raru appeared and said that he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so that the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island's shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. <laughs> And that is going to wrap it up for the second part of our walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you all. Cheers. Cheers.